Hello guys, this is again uh, an info channel. So I would like to share with you the process of building a driveway. When you do that, okay, um, you have to take into consideration the thickness of your driveway. We use a um, method that we use one cement, I think two sand and two gravel to one sack of cement. I think that is the uh, standard. And the thickness of that is about um, six inches. We did not skimp on our thickness. So far so good for five years now since we built this, this area, this driveway, we have not noticed any kind of crack. But one thing I would tell you guys though, in between, the partition of one panel like this, you have to have that um, in section. If not, without this, if there's a crack in one area, it will go all the way to the other areas. So to prevent that, you're gonna have to do it in partition. And in between the partition, you have to put rebars, and the size of that is normally about 10. So we put a bunch in here. Maybe in here, just about 10 of them across. But the rest of that, you do not have to put any kind of steel underneath. Or it depends on what you like, but so far, so good what we have here. It is sufficient. But one thing I have uh, not done, I was not too proactive as far as my piping. The pipes I should have put in here before I went ahead and uh, cut through this one here, cut across. We should not have done this. This is a big mistake. We should have been proactive that there is gonna be a pipe to that post right there, okay? A pipe should have been about three, three, inch, three inches pipe across that area. But we did not do that. So we have to cut across this and then repatch it again. And it happened also on the other side. And I'll show you what mistake I made. But sometimes, guys, even if you have a contractor, you're going to have to continuously make some changes. Okay, guys, um, I did not use a contractor. We did not use a contractor. I was the administrator because my husband was doing his job working while I was here. So... We communicated in Messenger every day, and I tell him what are the changes here and what we're doing. Okay, so we have, we have sections. Can you see that? We have sections. But the main thing that I did not think, or my husband think, that we're gonna have to build a cistern over there. So we're gonna have to have a pipe from that point to that point, right? So this is something the, we did not think about. So we have to cut across. So that's why we have this thing is, I don't know what, how you call those. Oh, what's it? What's the name? What's the name? San Juan Square. It's like a screen according to him, but we have to weld each one of that. Okay, those brie bars. And, uh, Rebars and a tubular. It's still screen. Oh, it's still screen. That's what he said. Okay. Now, in this thing here, we were able to put our four inches pipe from for the water. Okay, for the water. At the same time, our electric wiring for the solar, because the solar is on that side. All right, had we known about it, we would have been able to save some money and time. So anyhow, guys, at least I was able to save a little money here because when they came here, the solar, later on, they were able to use the same trench that we have built for the water. So that's one thing you can save, your time, as well as a little money, okay, and headache. Now, um, I guess that's it.
So pretty much I'm telling you this so that you would learn from my mistake. And I appreciate you watching my video. And I'm going to give you the finished product later on on our driveway from the gate. I love you guys. Bye-bye.